Hello and welcome to my creative year. This week's theme is font. When I think of font, I, I go back in time and I look at uh, the old font that used to be set out in uh, in blocks, and obviously they didn't have the facility to be able to size things like we can on computers today so that were the old font but modern day font is generally the font family that's what we think of the, the individual types of font but originally old font were for example Times New Roman size 12 is a different font to Times New Roman size 16 because there were different sizes so there were different fonts for printing we've got modern day technology we don't have to worry about what size things are or whether they're italic or whether they have other bits like that so font has become a byword for the particular style and that's what we see to be font today but what I'm going to do is show you some of the fonts that I've designed and I'm going to also show you how to space out font vertically and horizontally. So I hope you enjoy this and get something from it and we'll see you at the end. These are fonts that I've been designing. Now what I try to do with fonts is try to produce each font style with a, a particular theme throughout each style. For example, with this one, it's got circles in it and it's chunky. Now, I draw them from an original sketch and then I put them on the computer and use something called Font Forge to make them into proper text. Let's now look at horizontal and vertical spacing. These lines represent the vertical aspects of lettering the first line that we need to take note of is this one here and that's called the baseline and all letters sit on that that can be a curve if you want it to be a curve obviously all your rest of your lines need to be curved in accordance with that but the rule of thumb is all letters go on the baseline. Now when we're talking about uppercase letters that has a, a cap at the top. So let's draw a, a letter for example which would represent an uppercase letter and where that would sit. So that's where an A would sit and that's where all capital letters sit in between the base line and the cap line. When we're talking about lowercase lettering uh, that has an end point as well. So we see this red line here and it's called the X line and that's the height of an X so we'll draw an X that represents represents the uh, the small lowercase lettering now obviously lowercase lettering goes above the X line as well. An example being a B. And that extends up there. And it, other letters can also extend, for example, 
a G. That goes to what's called, because it goes under the bass line, it's called a descender. And you can have letters that also go above to this, what's called the ascender. Now, uh, I'll use B again. But uh, there are other letters that will do that. And that actually then goes above the height of the capital. It's not often used that, but it does happen occasionally. So there are your vertical uh, basic rules for spacing out lettering. We'll move on to doing horizontal lettering now. So I've already got these drawn out because I don't want to be taking too much of your time up. But when we're talking about horizontal spacing there's several different ways that we can actually do that with this particular one which i'm going to call universal spacing each letter sits inside an equally spaced piece of space they're all actually 25 millimeters then or one inch uh, in length so and they also have a spacing that's equal as well so they're like a universal setup and that's what used to be on things like typewriters for example we move on to a slightly different setup this one here each letter has its own spacing and it can be independent of any of the other letters. So that's got a short space, that's got a long space, that's even wider, and that's back to a short space again. So you can have a variation, but again, it's got a universal distance between it. We move on again to a, a similar kind of this, but this particular letter style or spacing style actually encroaches into the space of the other letter. If, if you look, that's a good example with the O. It actually goes in towards the space. It doesn't touch, but it goes in towards it. And the last one I'm going to show you here is one where the lettering is touching to such an extent that it's actually become one piece of lettering. It's, it's all one object that now because you cannot tell the dis difference between the gaps. There is no gaps, they're touching one another. They're actually in each other's spaces and they're touching one another. So that's another way of spacing horizontal lettering. So that's been my brief auto space lettering vertically and horizontally thank you for having a look in continue to support the group my creative year because we've got lots of other things coming up and uh, i'd like to thank you and ask you if you're happy to do so to subscribe to my channel so thank you for this time and goodbye.